What's up guys, Chasing here with your movie recommendation of the day. I came out today, start my car, make sure everything is working fine, and I figured, hey, look, I don't have to hold it this time. I got a little tripod in here, so I figured, hey, give you up a change of scenery, and it'll look cool. Uh, so today, this is a big one, because I'm opening up my heart to you guys, I'm showing my vulnerable side, I'm choosing a film that is arguably one of the most disliked movies in Hollywood. Um, I used to work at a store called Suncoast, which would just sell DVDs used and new. And there was a bargain bin that like the worst movies would always end up in for like two or three ninety nine. This movie was always in the bargain bin. And I got so mad that I would tell myself, you know, I want to just buy them all. And then eventually there's going to come a time when people realize they were mistaken about this movie. And when they do, I'll own all the copies, right? That was a 16, 17 year old me just being a total uh, rebel against, uh, uh, you know, what, what critics said. Critics didn't like this movie. Uh, most general audiences didn't like this movie. I am definitely, and I will repeat this, I am in the minority of loving the Cameron Crowe film, Vanilla Sky. Wait, 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 don't, don't click out yet. Don't exit it out. I'm telling you, Vanilla Sky is the movie. Here, here. The first time, let me tell you a little bit about this movie though. The first time I saw this movie, I was, I was over at my friend's house, who lived in the neighborhood, and his mom had rented it from Blockbuster. We were watching, I think it was Jeepers Creepers. If you look up the years and I'm wrong, I might be wrong. I want to say we were watching Jeepers Creepers 2 upstairs. She and her husband were watching Vanilla Sky downstairs. But I guess there was a, a delay of some sort, or we started and they started later, where I went downstairs and I just remember hanging out at the bottom of the stairs watching Vanilla Sky. Like, I didn't go into the living room where they were all sitting because obviously it was an adult movie. There was like, you know, uh, some, some pretty R-rated stuff going on and, and I just couldn't look away. And then some years went by. I didn't even really realize it. This was way before I was even into film. I mean, I was a kid kid when this, well, maybe not, but um, I usually know my years, 2001. So I was probably 11, 10. Uh, no, I was, 11, I was 10. A um, couple years go by, 13, 14, and my brother tells me about a Tom Cruise movie that I need to see because, you know, obviously we still recommended movies to each other. I wasn't like in love with movies just yet. Um... And he recommended Vanilla Sky, and I remember not liking it. And just being like, I don't know what you made me watch. It's very confusing. And the problem, and I think the reason why most people don't like this wonderful Cameron Crowe movie that stars Tom Cruise, Penelope Cruz, and Cameron Diaz, is because it's just a bit thick, and it's a bit confusing. Um, don't get me wrong. There are issues with this movie. But for me, I think the more that I've watched it, the more I've come to enjoy. And now trust me, as a critic and and having the conversation with people you've never even met before, you tell them what you do, they say, well, what, what did you think about this? Oh, I loved it. And then you don't want to be like, well, I hated it. I thought it was the worst thing ever because of course that's insulting. But, you know, I mean, it raises the question. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't raise a question. But I mean, it, you just... You don't want to just say that to somebody because that comes off rude and that, and that kind of insults their taste. And it's not about that. But they always say, you know, maybe it's the more and more I've seen it, I've liked it. And I've never liked that excuse because movies should be, you know, good the first time around. Now, this is probably the only movie that I could really think of that I went from hating to like loving. And this is probably the most controversial film that I do really love because it is one that's, pan I mean, just pan was panned by people. Don't get me wrong. I mean, there are a lot of movies that I like that are not well reviewed. Um, you know, I can think of many off the top of my head. I go, I go back and watch the movies I loved as a kid or movies that still like really hit me emotionally. And I'll go look at the, you know, the score. And I'll go read Ebert's review or, you know, Pauline Kael's review. And I'm just like, oh, what? they just they didn't see it vanilla sky is that movie so that is a very very confusing wildish out there movie so the less i tell you the better the blind the more blind you go into this the better experience you'll have maybe you won't love it the first time around because it pulls you in all these different directions you, you, you know you find yourself kind of 
confused by everything that's going on. They keep throwing these really, really heavy turns in there. And I'm not saying people only didn't like the movie because they didn't understand it. I'm sure there are plenty of people who understood it, but probably thought it still wasn't any good. But I'm here to tell you those people were wrong. Um, Vanilla Sky <coughs> is really just a beautiful, uh, very in-depth look about, you know, our inner monologue, who we are as people behind the curtain, what love can do to people, how it can bring people together, how it could tear them apart, um, trust. And one of my favorite life movie, I mean, one of my favorite quotes for life from a movie is, the sweet is never as sweet without the sour. And I know that is elementary, but it is so true. And I think, you know, in what, I'm sure many of us would consider one of the weirdest, sourest times of our lives, or, or you know, that we've experienced as a whole, as a, as a, as mankind. It's really sour, but hopefully that means that we will get the sweet of sweets very, very soon when we all get out of this. So, hate to kind of take it in that kind of term, but I mean that's just a perfect example of the very layered messages that are in Vanilla Sky. Give it a shot. I just ask you, give it a shot. And if you don't think it's interesting, fair. If you've seen it before and you didn't think it was interesting, give it another shot, All right? Rewatch it. If you've never seen it, give it a shot. You don't like it, fine. But if there's anything in it that intrigues you or anything that you think could spark a conversation or piques your interest, rewatch it. And then tell me if you feel Nevin Else Guy's no good. Then that's the true, true, true test. But nevertheless, if you hate it or don't, I'm going to still love it. But it was something for you different to watch and maybe a good example that your tastes will not always line up with the critics, right? One conversation I have all the time, again, also is critics don't know what I like, why are they tell me my job is not to tell you what to like. You are going to like what you like and you are not going to like what you don't like. And that is perfectly fine. But there need to be people who uphold the form of film to an art standard. So... I've always said this, and, and I'm, if you've followed us for a long time, you know I've said this before. My opinion is you should watch a movie that you're interested in and then read a review to get a different perspective. Read a review for a movie that you didn't get much out of and see what you might have missed or see if it really was their fault. Then watch it again to see if that movie expands your understanding or appreciation for what this movie was trying to do. Um, but, you know, I'm not here to tell anyone what to do, but... Obviously, you guys came here for a movie recommendation. I got to vent about a lot of things as a movie critic. But if you take away anything, take away this. Two things. Watch Vanilla Sky. And two, the sweet is never sweet without the sour. Be good, guys.